for my neighbours, actually. I'm here for the people next door, the Jamaican couple next door, who came over in the 50s and helped build the National Health Service, who look after my house when I'm away. I'm here for the Pakistani family on the other side, who always share their food with us and they've made too much and are generally brilliant neighbours. And I'm here for the Turkish women across the road who also take in our parcels. They are my community. I'm here today for them. time that we can. We are absolutely, we've been absolutely outspoken on PREVENT and we have been right to do so. PREVENT is a racist policy. We, we are here to defend and support the refugees that come to our country and come to our schools and I'm proud of the fact that the NEU was a partner in this year's Refugee Week and we have resources on our website to help our members support those people. I'm also proud that our union is working on a charter to make sure that our black members really do get the rights that they are entitled to. I'll tell you what I do want. I want to live in a country that, where everybody is valued and treated with respect, where we uphold the principles and values that we say we believe in, and I want to live in a country where we are honest about our history and we are optimistic about our future. I am here, you are here, thank you for being here. We stand together here today, and when we do that, we win. Thank you very much, everybody. I want to introduce Lois Brown from Love Music and Racism. She's been waiting patiently with this um, stage. You want to say a few words before we say, I say that? I want to. I want to thank Megan. I want to thank Soho Radio, who's been supporting us. All the DJs who waited and wanted to play. We're sorry. We think the park should be full of music, but that's a different story. I won't want to say anything illegal. So um, I'll pass you over to Lois. Uh, it's amazing to see like thousands this time because last time was a very small crowd and it was scary as fuck, but this is amazing. Um, just wanted to say like we're really like hyped to actually have um, yeah, Soho Radio supporting us. Um, yesterday we had a great um, like revelation, uh, uh, revolution day um, uh, revolt party in Soho and um, we want to also talk about, as well as the NEU sponsoring many other things, they're actually sponsoring um, our carnival float. So we really want to encourage as many people as possible to get along to it. 26th of, 26th of August on Sunday, 27th of August, Monday. And we want you to all come, join us, sign up. If you're interested in signing up, holler at me, or even email info at lovemusichateracism.com. And yeah. Starts from there, but yeah, thank you guys and keep the revolution going. Solidarity, guys. Uh, I want to introduce an MP that has stood out against the hostile environment, including getting here. I'd like to introduce the MP for Tottenham, David Lammy, who's come and stood with us when many others wouldn't. Please give it up for David Lammy. Thank you so much for a second day coming out to make it clear we do not want fascists in this country. Thank you for keeping in your hearts the thousands of people who are amongst the Windrush generation. Thank you. Thank you for also standing up against the growing tide of Islamophobia that is becoming acceptable in all walks of life. Particularly the Tories. And we are here to send a message to Tommy Robinson and his crew. We are watching you. We are here and we are here in much bigger numbers. I remember those battles of the late 70s and early 80s where there was a real feeling that we had driven out the far right from this country and it remained on the fringe. How depressing it has been to see some of that rhetoric enter mainstream political parties and find a place in moments around the cabinet table at number 10. And so many marched 
yesterday because in Donald yards. Trump we see someone who is happy to saddle up with neo-Nazis with the Ku Klux Klan in his own country Yay! and make it acceptable Yay! to preach hate. We say no. No. no to racism, no to, no to Islamophobia, no, no to anti-Semitism. We are not having any of it. Good. And whilst we gather here in London, we are acutely aware, despite the challenges that exist in our own multicultural city, that there are places across this country where there are minorities, where there are liberal progressive people who feel embattled in the face of this fascism, this nasty racism. And we stand in solidarity with you wherever you are in this country. We stand with you yeah. in your fight. Solidarity. And on those moments when you're feeling vulnerable, when you're feeling scared, Remember that all of us gathered here, all of us in this campaign to stand up for racism, we have your backs. We will not let this country slide towards extremism. We will fight every single liberal progressive cause on your behalf. So friends, thank you for coming out on this hot Saturday afternoon. Thank you for keeping up the fight and thank all of the organisers week after week for making us proud to oppose the fascists, to stand up for good people across this country. Thank you very much. racism from Manchester and as, a, and as a traditional submissive woman I'm so proud to be here today because actually I think I represent much of what those people over there probably hate. I'm Muslim, I'm a woman, I'm a rep a parent, my parents are immigrants and I wear a scarf and I'm proud of it. And let me tell you this, I am not going to let anyone whether the racist over there in that corner or whether it's the likes of Tommy Robinson or Donald Trump. I'm not going to let those people tell me how I could be a Muslim. Why is it a respectable Muslim in Britain today? I will wear my hijab with pride. And I will stand alongside those women who choose not to wear their hijab. Because the bottom line is this, it is our choice. We do not need other people to speak for us. And I want to say this is absolutely fantastic that we're out today. But we need this movement to be bigger, much bigger. Because let's be quite honest, they have a plan. They are planning to build a movement so that when Tommy Robinson comes out, he can head this movement. He could be the head as if he was some kind of martyr in prison. He's a common criminal. Let's be quite honest, he's a common criminal. He pleaded guilty. And yet those people over there talk about him being some kind of political prisoner. Well, that's a load of bollocks. Yeah. Let me say this. They think they are the majority, but today we have shown them that we can build a movement that unites everybody. You only have to look at the number of speakers, the different groups that have been represented to just go to show that we are the majority. We bring people together. We talk about solidarity, hope, unity. That is the kind of world that we want to live in. And let me also say this, those Nazis over there, yes, they take confidence in the likes of Donald Trump, but they also take top confidence for the likes of Theresa May and the Tories that talk about the problems within society, that is black people, that is Muslims, that is refugees. Let me say this once and for all, it's not black people or Muslims or refugees that have created the homeless problem here in Britain. No refugee has come over here and taken anyone's homes. It is not our fault that there are waiting lists in the NHS. It is not our fault that schools have such big class sizes. This is the fault of the Tory government. 
They would like us to blame each other. They want us to blame each other while they get away with making profit. At a time when well, public sector workers have not got a pay rise and they tell us we're all in it together, they take their big bonuses and their expense accounts and they point the finger at us. Well, no more. We stand together in solidarity and we make it clear that we will not let them attack any of us, whether it's black people. And let's face it, Windrush Generation, what did she do to them? That was racism coming from the top. She knew what she was doing. And you know what? When she talks about the problem within British society, she's like to say that actually Muslims like me that choose to wear the hijab are a threat to British values. Well, I'll tell you this. There are no British values. They're human values. Exactly. And there are values. Exactly. Exactly. And if anybody here that doesn't understand our values, it's the Tory government. The exactly. millionaires and billionaires that live in the cabinet. They live they in their the thatched cottages. They engage in the communities. They are the ones that don't integrate. They are the ones that don't understand about unity. So while we fight against Trump and his bigotry, while we fight against Tommy Robinson and his supporters, let's be quite honest, Theresa May is just as responsible. Can I say, and can I just say, for a moment there I wasn't quite sure that there would be a cabinet to actually meet Donald Trump when he arrived. I thought the only welcoming party was going to be the demonstrations yesterday. So let's keep on the pressure, let's fight the races, but let's fight the races in government as well. Thank you very much. There we go. Brilliant street speech, Nayla. Speech I want to say this though. Look, in a few moments we are going to be leaving and I want people to leave together and we're going to St James's Tube. I don't want people to go down Westminster Tube. Please do not go down Westminster Tube. We're going to move as a group towards St James's Tube. I have a reason for saying this. It's all about safety and it's all about making sure that we stay together. Um, um, this is ridiculous. I, I think I'm really proud that we've come out today. I want to also give a special shout out to Camden Unison and to Liz. And I'll tell you why. Because at the time when we couldn't, we didn't have enough money to do, the ch do this truck. i tell you, I got a call from a trade unionist and said, I'm going to stand by you. Look, check inside your bank account. I'm paying for it. It happened. Without Unison, without organisation, without people doing things together, i tell you, we've got nothing. Without working class people standing together, you've got nothing. And we always got to remember that. There are many, many more of us than them. I never forget the time when the EDL said they were going to march in East London and the RMT switched the train off and left those tanks on the train. They do not have the power that we've got. They may strut around down there at the moment, but I tell you something, our class is a sleeping giant. It sleeps for different reasons, but it will wake up. And when it wakes up, we are going to go for revenge. We're going to go for revenge for those people that closed our hospitals, closed our schools, yeah. gave us a hostile environment, built the type of environment that gave Tommy Robinson the right to strut around. He's a little shit. Yeah. He's a bully. Yeah. That's what he is. Yeah. Anybody that turns around and says they're going to bully Muslim women, it's not a piece of bull He's a little bully shit. And they throw little pictures of him hitting people. I tell you something, I've seen the EDL broken many times. And this little shit will break them as well. The BNP came. And I'll tell you what we did to them. Where is Dick Griffin now? He's taking his little ass, running around the world trying to find an audience. We smashed the BNP. We smashed the National Front. We smashed the EDL. And I tell you, this lot have come again. It will be harder. It will be deeper, it will be more international, but we will smash you, because at the end of the day, you are Nazis, and we are not, we are anti-fascists, and we'll break you, and that's the reason why. And then carried away, because we've got to go. So Bruce's going to make a speech. This brother was part of organising yesterday, the stage yesterday on Trump, and I tell you, we worked all together on Trump together. Unity is the key for victory. Thank you, Wayman. And absolutely, it was the collective efforts of all of us that brought out a quarter of a million people onto the streets of London yesterday. And when we marched yesterday, it wasn't just against Trump, 
It was against Theresa May. It was against the right, against the fascists, against the Tommy Robinson supporters. And our message was loud and clear. Your views are not legitimate here. And that's why we all stand together yesterday and today against these people. And we've sent a loud and a clear message to them. And I just want to leave you with one chant. It's a popular chant in the US that goes like this. No Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. And we're going to adapt that. We're going to say no Trump, no FLA, no fascist UK. No Trump, no FLA. No Trump, no FLA. No Trump, no FLA. No Trump, no FLA. Thank you everyone. Keep organizing, keep taking to the streets and we will win. I'd like people to move in safety. Um, Glyn is going to say something on behalf of anti-fascists, followed by Kevin Courtney, who's going to say a few words to end the, uh, end the rally. Hello, I'm Glyn, I'm from Hackney, and I'm here representing the London Anti-Fascists, Anti-Fascist Network, and Plan C. You put your push a big block this morning, and a thousand of us met at Jubilee Gardens, came over the bridge. We were ready, willing, and able to defend this demonstration. If we'd have had more, we could have done more, but we didn't. Next time there will be, we are building and building. What London Anti-Fascists and the Anti-Fascist Network are trying to do is rebuild the grassroots anti-fascist organising that we will need over the next period to defeat fascism in this country. Yeah. Keep an eye out. No passerant, we will win. No passerant. No passerant. I want to make it clear that Glenn and the others, we work together in order to make sure this demonstration is unified. If we don't have solidarity together and leadership, you will have no organisation in order to defeat the fascists. Unity is the key. I want to thank Kevin Courtney on two reasons. One, he's actually been here when actually none of us were here, a small group of people throwing beer cans at him. It's not often that you have a general secretary that will put his life and limb on the line and actually has the principle to stand up for everybody for what trade union rights represent. Because trade union rights represent this. It represents our children and from all places. I want to thank him for a second reason. He's got a bib on because he's prepared not just to be a general secretary, he's prepared to be a steward. Because we need a movement that's together. Give it up for Kevin Courtney from NEU, the general secretary. Comrades, this is a fantastic demonstration and it shows what we can do and it shows that we can beat the people up there. We have to be worried about them. You look up there, you see that there are a few of them and they have a big stage that they've never had before. I am not in any way into conspiracy theories, but these people are being funded by Steve Bannon, by the alt-right in America. They are reaching out from the Football Lads Alliance, they are reaching out to UKIP, they are reaching wider and wider layers. Their intention is to mobilize a street movement which will destroy our society. And our determination is that they are not going to get away with it. We know in this country that we have broken these people before. We broke the National Front. When I was a young teacher in London in 1983, teachers against the Nazis, we were doing that. Teachers against racism and fascism. In every union, people organizing those sorts of things. Mass demonstrations. Against the BNP, we repeated the same thing. Against the EDL. It's unity we need. Black and white, straight and gay, all faiths, all of us together, but on the streets. We cannot let these people have the streets. We mobilize against them. We mobilize bigger than them. We drown them out. We want to live in a good society, mobilized by love, not by their fear and hate. The love of a good society is what brings us here today, and together we can beat those scumbags. We can build the good society. We can end racism. We can end sexism. We can build the good society that we all want to live in. Thank you very much. Please, could you line up behind the Stand Up to Racism banner? 
because we're going off to the park, to the tube. We shall keep on chanting. Who's 